Welcome to this test slash review video on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, another kind of oh, test video, mod review, however you want to look at it really. Um, this is the greenhouses with seeds and fertilizer. If you watch my Let's Plays, um, you might know, not that you're interested, but I haven't been well for the last few days. Um, so the mod reviews Thursday and Friday I did do, but this was one of the mods that stood out to me um, because I'm doing greenhouses on Carmston Farm and it kind of intrigued me as a test, as a kind of mod review. So greenhouses with seed and fertilizer by Happy Mole. Um, it's 3.78 megabytes to download. So the questions I was asking in my head immediately was, okay, high yielding, by how much? Seed and fertilizer inputs, how much seed and fertilizer do we need to put in to get something out? Is the the input worth the output? You know, all, all those kind of questions pop into your head and you think, you know, are they worth it? Is the slot count going to be higher? Are they going to cost way more? You know, we you know, generally speaking, are they worth doing? Are they worth looking at? So, I've got a standard in-game small medium and large greenhouse. The prices for these are 3,000, 5,000 and 10,000. The amount of water they hold, because the standard ones only hold water, uh, are 5,000, 10,000 and 20,000 litres. So that's your standard in-game ones. All very happy. We'll have a look at the capacities and stuff in a moment uh, and look at the recipes. So the modded ones, well, initial differences, we've got the bags and stuff here to the side of seed, fert solid fertiliser and manure. But other than that, they look pretty much the same. We've got a few extra details to the wheelbarrow and stuff in here. Nicely detailed. Same goes for the medium, same goes for the large. Prices to buy these are 2,000, 4,000 and 9,000. So each one is a grand cheaper than the standard in-game one. That's a tick in the box. Like that a lot. Nice. Uh, as far as how much water do they hold, exactly the same as the standard in game ones. So 5,000, 10,000, and 20,000 litres. But that's where things change. We can still go inside them. We can still go in and we can use the menu like so, which takes you to the specific one if you use the one inside. This one being the large modded one. And as you can see, down the bottom, we're on the large modded one. Or you go into it from the main menu, that's entirely your choice. Triggers were very easy to, you know, they all came up, it wasn't like there was any problems or anything at all. And as far as inputs go, just how much of the extra stuff do we need to put in these to get something out? So, I suppose now's the time to have a look at all of them. If I scroll right to the top, for some reason they, they put these in a very weird order as I placed them, I don't know why. So we've got the small standard greenhouse. And the inputs and outputs for the standard small greenhouse um, is one water in, one tomato out. So the ratio is one to one. For the lettuce, it's always been poorer. So for two in, it's one out. So you can double the input for the output. The strawberries is the other way around. Input, double output. So one, one water in is two strawberries out. If we go to the modded one and we look at the same things, we've got tomatoes, 16 water, 2 seed and 1 solid fertiliser gives us 25 out. Well, the inputs, 16, 18, 19 for 25 out. That's an increased output. That's pretty cool. The lettuce is a little bit lower, but it's still not too bad. 16, 2 and 1, so again 19, but 11 out. So it's a little bit lower, but not half. So that's pretty good. And then the strawberries, 16, 2 and 1 and 48 out. So we can already see the recipes are pretty good. Now, the reason it doubles as we go further down is because you can either do it with water, seed and solid fertiliser, chemical fertiliser, or you can do it with water, seed and manure. Now, the manure input is three as opposed to the solid fertiliser, which is just one. Um, but that being said, solid fertiliser, uh, sorry, manure, is cheaper to buy if you're going to buy it or if you've got cows or you've got pigs and they're producing it it's free so you're getting it anyway so that's absolutely brilliant the recipes outputs are exactly the same so we've got our 25 11 and 48 25 11 and 48 
So it depends how you want to look at it. Your seed input is fairly small because in that recipe, it's only two it's using as it goes along. Not too bad at all. Uh, then we go down to our medium greenhouse. Let's go to the medium modded one. There we go. So the medium one, 28 in, 4, 2 for 40 out. 28, 4 and 2 for 25 out. That's actually, yeah, that's not too bad. Again, over half. And the strawberries, 28, 4 and 2 with 80 out on the mediums. If we go to the large modded greenhouse, 64, 6 and 3, 88 out. 64, 6 and 3, 48 out. 64, 6 and 3, 175 out. So that's the recipe side of things. But then if we go across and look at the other side, we'll go back up to our small one. We'll start with the small. Obviously, the standard in-game one just water in. If we look at the small uh, modded one, seed in, solid fertiliser and manure. If you're going to go down the route of having them all in there, obviously you, you might not. You might just go seed and manure or seed and solid fertiliser, depending on what you want to go. But 1,050 for the water input, that's next to nothing really. And I say next to nothing, that's bearing in mind that we hope the yield is going to be incredibly good. If the yield is very good, what you're selling your tomatoes, lettuce or strawberries for, whichever one you decide to have, you're going to more than cover the cost of your seed and solid fertiliser. And if you're buying manure, manure as well. But if not, if you're getting it free from the animals, that doesn't matter. Um, if we then go to the medium, 2,100 of each in. And if we go to the large... 3,150. So the input versus the outputs seems on paper to be pretty good. It's not like you're having to put, you know, 20,000 water, 20,000 seed, 20,000, you know, you'd look at that and think, well, that's ridiculous. That's going to cost me a fortune. So again, another tick in the box. Price of the actual greenhouses is lower. But the inputs aren't that bad and the outputs look pretty good too. Now, I haven't set any of these off to go yet, but what I am going to do, I'm, this is going to be um, my save point is now. So what I'm going to do is go through, not quite 24 hours, I've got it on one day months, so we're going to kind of go through a month. It's almost, it's just gone lunchtime now, so it won't be quite a month, just under. But that's fine. We're going to do tomatoes on each, but I'm going to start with on the modded ones, we're going to do it with solid fertiliser, not with manure. It doesn't matter, because the output's the same. If the outputs were different on the... Um, solid fertiliser or the manure, I would then be saying, well, I need to do multiple tests here. But because the outputs are identical, whatever yields we get, whatever amounts of pallets we get will be the same. It's just we're using slightly different recipes. So I'm not going to do loads and loads and loads. But what we are going to do, we're going to do a test on tomatoes and we're going to compare standard against the modded. We're going to do a lettuce and we're going to do a strawberries. And we're going to see just how much we've got coming out compared to our inputs and to see whether or not financially is it viable and is it just one of those kind of, whoa, that's amazing. Um, again, I'm, all, I'm already kind of all for it, judging just by the prices. So what we're going to do, set our tomatoes off, the first one on each. I'm going to skip through. Hang on, I've got to be careful here. That's it. I don't want to go to... Yeah, don't want to do the second one on each of those, do I? Uh, tomatoes on the top. So that's all our tomatoes ticked, isn't it? Large greenhouse, medium greenhouse, standard large, standard medium, modded small. Yeah. So we're going to get our tomatoes rolling. Everything is now in the process of growing. We'll skip through a day, which will be a month, and we'll see what we've got sitting here. Then we'll do the same for lettuce, we'll do the same for tomatoes, and just answer those questions. Is it is it worth it? Are they worth having? I will see you tomorrow. Well, I'm going to say, judging by the, just where I'm standing now, <laughs> that's a big old yes. Um, if we look at our large standard, we've got two pallets here. Each one 400 kilograms. Lovely. Our medium, we've got one pallet with 61 litres on the way of the second. On our small, we haven't even got one pallet. Uh, so what's it up to? 320 litres. So we're 80 litres off a full pallet, having gone through a month with the standard. If we go to our modded, three pallets. No pallets? Three pallets. Which is absolutely brilliant. 
could not be happier with three liters in our fourth pallet so yeah three solid pallets no problem our medium four pallets with 400 and what's that it's got to go on there 405 of tomatoes 405 liters each one this is 500 so we're not far off on that one and then this one the large that's mad that's absolutely bonkers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, if we go and look at our page then, and let's look at what we've actually used. So, in, in comparison, are we going to be using more on the modded ones or less? Or, you know, so, the standard small, 4,679 litres of water left. The small modded one, 4,037. So, we've used more water. Now, we're using solid fertiliser on this one. And look how much we've, we've used next to nothing to get what we've got out of that those outputs coming out we've used next to nothing um the medium i mean we're going to look at these i'm going to say the modded ones are using more water definitely 9438 if we go to the medium one here 8316 left so yeah we've used more but again the outputs for our seed and solid fertilizer are not horrendous not too bad at all that's actually looking pretty good um, so these are going to roll forward and roll forward. And we're going to get through quite a few months before we run out of any of those. We're going to get a lot of output. But then the question is, if we look at prices, the prices are going to vary, depends what map you're on. If we look at our lettuce, tomato and strawberries, our lettuce prices here are all over 2000 We haven't done lettuce yet, we're doing tomatoes. Let's look at tomatoes. So 1436 1484 I mean, that's the best price at the moment for tomatoes, 1484 You multiply that by the amount of tomatoes we've got for the large one, the amount we've got for the medium, the amount we've got for the small, and we sell those, that more than covers the cost of our inputs. Now, our seed and our solid fertiliser, we've barely used any. And each month that's going to roll over, and each month we're going to get pretty much the same coming out. By the time we've used up what we put in there, remember we only put, what was it, 1,050 in the small of each, 2,100 of each in the medium, and 3,150 litres of each in the large. We, we've easily covered the cost of that. Easily. So I'm going to say, that's a big thumbs up for tomatoes. Already. You, you've got to look at that and they, pff, that's a no-brainer. Do we need to carry on? Probably not at this point. If you want to jump off now, you absolutely can. But I want to have a look and see, okay, what's going to be the relationship then with lettuce? Lettuce will be less. We know it will because the, the actual recipe is less. But it's going to be still way more than the standard ones. And then strawberries is the one that is going to be absolutely off the chain, I think. Um, that's going to be crazy. But let's have a look. I, I'm at this point already thinking my greenhouses I've got on Carmsden Farm, I've got, I want to swap out for these ones immediately and that's what i want to do they are an absolute earner i mean they're more on a par with what the standard in-game ones were before the first update but the argument is not why the, that that yield is ridiculous because we are having to put more inputs in on these and that i like as well i like the fact yeah we've got to put seed in you know where have they, where have they come from we haven't bought the plants in we're going to put the seed in and then we're going to add whatever fertilizer we want to get that high yield the inputs are coming in we're getting the outputs out we're reaping the rewards of our extra effort um and i like that so i'm going to reset roll through and we're going to see what we get for our lettuce and then we'll do the same thing for strawberries see you momentarily you probably noticed that all the greenery and all the <laughs> landscaping is gone that's because my safe point i did it and then did all the landscaping and then forgot to save it but it doesn't matter it's the, it's the same as far as greenhouses go now what i did this time because the recipes are the same i thought i'd have a look at the manure side of things so i set it off on lettuce um but what i did was on the modded ones i did the second recipe so rather than use solid fertilizer that's using manure because i was curious to see just how much manure we'd get through um because it's using more as per the recipe but again it's cheaper to buy and it's or free if you've got it so our large greenhouse we've got one medium greenhouse no lettuce small greenhouse no lettuce the modular one small greenhouse we've got one with one on the way 
We've got three on the medium. That's pretty good for one month, one day. We've skipped through. And then the large, we've got five. That's pretty cool. Lettuce is the one that's the, it's not it's a tricky, it's tricky to grow slow to grow, you know. But it pays out way more. So again, as far as input versus output goes, absolutely worth it. Uh, so looking at our large greenhouse, we're in the large one at the moment at the bottom. Um, actually, the manure, not a huge amount, not horrendous. I thought it was going to be far worse than that. The medium greenhouse, again, judging by the bar, it looks a lot worse. But then there's less in there in the first place. But not too bad. And then we'll go up to the small. Uh, that one there. Yeah, again, not horrendous. And not expensive to replace. So, absolutely fantastic. Well, that's the lettuce. That's the result. <laughs> now the strawberries. I've got a funny feeling that the uh, large one's going to be full, which would require moving a load out the way, and then more is going to pop up, I would imagine. Uh, but anyway, let's see, shall we, with our strawberry. Strawberries are always going to be better. The standard in-game ones, are the, the recipe's higher anyway. So our large one standard, not too bad, with five pallets. A medium two, our small one. If we go to our small, or our modded, we've got five. We're full here, we're going to have to move some. Oh, we've got eight, uh, we'll have to move a load. And then it's... <laughs> What have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, what's this, 16? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, well, what we'll do. I don't know if I can get that to go over 4. Can. Yes. Move those out of the way. There we go. Wow, I have to say. <laughs> right, there's no more spawning, so... 4, 8... 12, 16... 20... 21, 22... That's bonkers. Right, let's have a look at the medium. So yes, they do pay out less. But you get so many more. I mean, it's no different to any other yields. Things like we've said before, sugar beet, potatoes, those kind of things. Yes, you don't get as much per thousand, but you get so many more of them. It's the same with strawberries, you know. The price isn't as great, but you get so many more. It's absolutely nuts. So we add, what do we have? Eight and one more. So nine on the, on the medium. That's crazy. In a month. And then our five on our small. I think the question is answered. I mean, the question was probably answered, like I say, when we did the tomatoes. But I really was curious to see just how many strawberries we would get. If you, if you want to set up just being a strawberry farm, imagine having a field with like, I don't know, four, five, six of these. And you could run two of each, you know. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so there we have it. The greenhouses with seeds and fertilizer by Happy Mole. Better than standard? Absolutely. How much better than standard? Wow. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, I just, like I say, I just thought I'd show you, run through it. Other people may well have done this already. They may already have put their mod reviews out there. They might have already done the tests, that kind of thing. Um, I haven't looked any, haven't seen any. I thought I'd do it myself. Um, if that has in some way influenced you towards using these or not you may decide you know what that's just way too much work um, but you may decide it's absolutely what you want 
I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.